when you live where we live out here, I mean, it's it's like being on vacation every day as far as uh, being outside and whatnot. You know, the independence of it, instead of in an office, working with livestock, working with nature. But you know, this is kind of what I've always loved. Helped my dad for a while, and then I kind of took this over in the late 80s, early 90s. It doesn't start and stop with a clock. So we're generally up pretty early, and it's Christmas, it's Easter, it's all day. That's our job, to take care of these cattle. It, it's not just riding a horse. Got to know grass management, got to know water. A lot of these people live rural or enough. I mean, they got to be pretty good mechanics. It takes a lot to run a ranch. It's, uh, a lot of folks just see the romantic side on TV, and that's just a little bit of our lifestyle. They call it God's country up here, huh? <laughs> Don't get much better than this, does it? I think one thing people tend to forget is why we even have cattle and, and what the sweet spot of this industry is. You know, well over 60% of the land in this country is, is arid in the world. And you've got a product out here that has no value to human beings for food. And we've been blessed with some ruminants like cattle and sheep that can take this and convert it to a high dense protein that is, that's enriched and has a lot of value. And it's pretty cool when you think about it. We manage our grasses and we use cows to harvest it uh, to provide a great food, that's beef. You know, you look at efficiency testing and what we're doing uh, with RFI and, and GrowSafe, and it, get, it, it allows us to manage our grasses even better because there's a conservation side to efficiency. And what we're trying to do is select cattle that will, can, will eat 20% less grass, drink a little less water, but still give us the same amount of production. That's pretty cool when you think about it. And we can do all that, not with investments in technology and stuff, but sim simply with good old genetic selection, just like Mother Nature would do. The beauty of the RFI system and the GrowSafe system is that it is a collaboration between seed stock producers and commercial cattlemen in creating efficient individuals that are able to convert finite resources such as the grassland that we have into pounds of red meat. We have to become more efficient and more effective. As we do that, we have to look at our margins. Our margins are key. For every animal that we feed, we have to be able to capitalize on more profitability. And we do that through efficiency. And that's what the RFI system helps us do. Efficiency just opened up the door for a whole new, whole new frontier in performance testing. Uh, and I can tell you, back in the early 60s, when my father and some of these people started that concept of performance of measuring cattle, that a lot of people didn't like it, they didn't agree with it. None of those people are in the business anymore. They're all gone. You either performance test, you provide genetically re relevant cattle, or you're gone. And I'll predict that within 10 to 15 years, if you have not incorporated these efficiency genetics into your cattle programs, you're going to be gone too. The biggest responsibility is to help the rancher, to keep them profitable. and this. This is such a huge tool for them, it's, uh, it's great.